Okay, look at that. We've teleported back to 1993, the year Chipotle Burrito was born in Denver, Colorado, on Evans Avenue. That's right, on Evans Avenue. What do we got here? We got Burritos Buster, little blockbuster. Tortilla Records. Okay, we got Dollies. We got Now Showing Chipotle Presents a Future Begins. Wow. Okay, okay, we got a leaderboard and a park. I thought it was a graveyard at first, but no, that's a... Oh, that might be a graveyard back there. Is it? Wait, are those... Oh, no, it's a little, like, communal garden. That's nice. That's nice. I always appreciate that. I like how it actually has, like, a whole town around it. There's lemonade. Got cilantro city. Yeah. Pretty good. Some houses back there. But you know what? That's not what we're here for. We're not here for, for cilantro city. We're not here for burritos buster. We're here for Chipotle. Mexican Grill. Let's head into the restaurant. Oh my god. Let's talk to the employee and get working. Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. Let's wrap. Okay. Welcome in, sir. What do you want? Oh, some white rice. I got you. Some pinto beans. Okay. Some carnitas right there. Yeah, you want some queso? I got you, of course. Some cheese. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Roll up. That's one burrito. Hello, sir. Welcome in. You like some brown rice? If you guys didn't know, brown rice is actually worse. It's, it's not good for you. So Frida's mild salsa. Of course, sir. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Roll it around. Boom, got it. Welcome in, sir. How are you doing today? White rice, black beans. What protein would you like? Some barbacola. And would you like some queso? No, you want some hot salsa? I got you there. Some cheese. Okay. And twist it. Boom. Easy. Welcome in, sir. How can I help you today? Some white rice. Some pinto beans. What's your protein? Some carnitas. Okay, I got you. Some mild salsa. Okay. Guac. That's going to be an extra 250. Are you okay with that? Twist it. Okay. So you fold the ends and then you twist. Interesting. Black beans, okay, some sofritas. No one's asking for like just chicken, which is interesting. I would think that's would be the most popular option, but apparently not. Apparently no one wants just chicken. Brown rice, okay. Black beans, some fajitas. Oh, you're a vegetarian. Get out of here. That would be an extra. I mean, yeah, get some guac. It's outrageous that it's extra. Let's be real. Let's be real. It's outrageous that it's extra. It shouldn't be extra. It shouldn't be. In what world is it extra? Like, at Kadoba, it's not. But however, maybe we know why. Because Kadoba standards have gone down a lot in the past couple years. If you guys don't know, there, at least in some places, this kind of rivalry between Chipotle and Kadoba, which is another place that is basically the exact same. Uh, just, you know, the flavors are a little changed and that kind of thing. Obviously, people have their preferences, but it's, you know, the concept is the same. They both just serve burritos and burrito bowls, right? And Kadoba, the quack's free. So I always used to like it, but I gotta say, its quality has gone downhill so much in the past, like, you know, good bit of time. It's, it's just not as good anymore. And you know what? Maybe they have to make up for the fact that they want their guac to be free. I'll say it. You know the craziest thing is? Both of the stores were founded in Denver, Colorado in 1993. Or at least in the 90s. But I think they literally were founded in the same year. So it's like, I think there might be something there as well that like the person who founded Kadoba, um, or whichever way it was, um, was like a friend of the person who founded the other one and, you know, heard the idea and literally just, just stole it. Just, just stole the idea. <laughs> Maybe not literally stole it, you know, but, um, but they heard the idea before it opened and that's, that's why they were both working on the same concept, which is crazy, but I mean, it makes sense. But, you know, when you want to know what is the burrito capital of the world, you know, where do you say thank you? Thank you for making all these wonderful burritos a part of my life. It's Denver, Colorado. 
doesn't matter if you're a Cadoba fan, if you're a Chipotle fan, it's Denver, Colorado. That is who you have to thank. And that goes surprisingly for not just burritos, well, not the Denver, Colorado part, but the surprising part of you would think, oh, tacos? What popularized tacos? Immigration from Mexico? No, no. Tacos were not really something that people you know, popularly ate until Taco Bell came around. A guy who tried, you know, I think his last name was Bell, and he kept on trying to have a rivalry to fast food chains like McDonald's and that kind of thing, and realized, you know, it'd be really easy if I created my own new market. Stop competing with burgers. There's all these burger joints already. It's going to be so hard to break into that. Why not start my own, my own different, unique, you know, taste for what people are going to want and he tried a bunch of things and he tried tacos and at first no one knew what they were it's actually popularly known that a lot of people at first this was like i don't know like in the 60s let's say they would call them tacos they didn't know how to pronounce them hey can i get one taco they didn't know it was a new thing to them and this is the crazy thing this is a crazy thing Soft shell tacos were around before then, but the invention of the hard shell taco, that fried tortilla that we all know and love, that is literally the first time that was ever made was Taco Bell. That was fully Taco Bell. Fully Taco Bell. And that brand that you get in, uh, in the grocery store, for hard shell tacos, that is the Taco Bell brand. Now I think they're different sizes, like they're not the literally the same type, but like that that is produced by the the same parent company, which is crazy, crazy to think about that people think of that as being an authentic hard shell taco which technically it is because that is as authentic as you can really get right but hey i don't know just a cool little fact for your day that hard shell tacos were created by taco bell a chain that now look i will never hate on taco bell however i will hate on them for this one thing them getting rid of their digital exclusive like five dollar um deal their five dollar like cravings box even though it shows up still it shows up still on the app if you try to check out with it it'll glitch out and be like sorry it's something went wrong with your order and to me that's annoying because then you have to spend nine bucks for the same cravings box but it's like okay look look as much as i chose taco bell because of how cheap it was right sometimes i still want taco bell just take it off your take it off the menu so I don't accidentally order it over and over and over again and just you know get angry over the fact of like hey why is this not working you know what I mean it's it's frustrating that was really close we're at 31 burritos it's starting to get really fast if you guys haven't noticed it does slowly get faster and faster I don't think we're going to win oh we did okay we're good we're good 32 I don't think we're going to survive this this round, though. I really don't. Let's focus up. Pinto. Uh, Barbacola. Queso Blanco. Hot sauce. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. This is crazy. Hello. Welcome in. How can I help you? Brown rice. Pinto beans. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Barbacola. Uh-huh. Mild salsa. Medium salsa. Wrap. Oh, my gosh. We're at 34 burritos. This is getting kind of outrageous now oh i knew it i had a feeling i had a feeling this was going to be a queso blanco kind of person to be honest who doesn't want some queso blanco i know this game's like limiting how oh no i think we lost oh <laughs> that was so close 36 brown rice pinto beans barbacola hot sauce corn Oh, 37. Welcome in, sir. How can I help you today? You want some brown rice, some black beans, some steak, hot salsa, corn. Oh, my God. 
38 burritos. It just keeps on getting faster. I don't know if it's going to go up one more speed or not, though. I think this might be like the maxed out speed. The maxed out speed. We'll see. This is our 40th burrito. 40th burrito. That's crazy. Let's see. Is it going to get faster now? No, it's not. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know, man. I think we could do this forever, technically. I mean, obviously, at some point, I'm going to get burnt out, but <laughs> it's not going to get faster than this is um, not the hardest thing in the world. Some chicken. Okay. Some queso blanco. Some hot sauce. Ooh. Okay. We're going to exit the burrito builder. We've made a ton. 35 rolled. We got we got all of them. We we did it all. We got the tie-dye shirt. We got the doodle banana. B bandana. We got the pepper choker. We got the spoon shades. We got the cheese frosted tips. We got the foil fanny pack. And we got the guacman. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Okay, okay. So we got we got our uniform on. Let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, you know what we got in here. Now can I claim these? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got some uniforms that we can uh, get, but we have four thousand dollars. So what else do we have? It's not really allowing me to claim these, unfortunately. Don't know what's going on there. Unless I have to like delivery bag. Welcome to the Chipotle Delivery Side Quest. Use the backpack, map, and burrito bowl hoverboard to deliver burritos around town and unlock a reward. Plus, visit the cashier to get a special boost from a virtual burrito. All right, all right, let's do this, let's do this. Where do we need to go? Oh, oh 10,000. Okay, map, yeah, what, your deliveries. Oh my gosh, wait, I just have to find those those houses? No, that can't be right. I just have to find those houses? Wait, seriously? Okay, so we have a blue house, a blue house next to a green. Oh, there's gotta be one, right? Yeah, yeah, this is one of them. Hello, sir, I hope you have your, I hope you have your, you enjoy your burrito. Okay, that one's not that, that one. Hmm. Well, there's a cream one right next to brick. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think we found it. Okay. Just got to run over. Because the hoverboard's 10,000. That's more than a hoverboard would be in real life. My lord. Or, I guess not a literal hoverboard, but you know what I mean? One of those, like, cool, like, you know, Casey Neistat um, skateboard things. Where they're electric. Those are cheaper than that. I would hope. That's crazy if people are spending more than 10000 on that. Okay, we're looking for an orange. Is that is that the orange? It is perfect. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Here you go, sir. I hope you have an amazing day. We have a green and we have a blue. I'm thinking, yeah, this is the blue. I don't know where the green is. Unless that's the green and we just missed it could be no it's on a well no yeah yeah it's it's on the side of everything okay so let's go around the block maybe there's a green house back here hmm maybe it's this yeah i think it's gotta be this one from the perspective yeah there we go there we go there you go sir find your fellow crew member at chipotle for a award okay Let's head back to the Chipotle and see what our reward is. I'm excited to find out. What are we going to get? Are we going to get some money? Are we going to get some free exclusive items? I don't know. I don't know. Tons of people chilling around, though. Which is... Uh... Welcome back and nice job out there. You earned a reward. Meet your burrito, buddy. Plus, here's a thousand... Wow, to roll again, just talk to me. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
that was that was a lot that was a lot Ooh okay let's check out our, br our br oh my gosh look at our burrito buddy look at him little tinfoil guy oh look at him what a cutie <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's let's upgrade our uniform up. Get the get the best uniform. Oh, oh well, you know what? It doesn't look the best. I'm gonna be honest, but get our little guy. Our little guy. Aww, our cute little burrito buddy. I enjoy that. I quite appreciate that. I won't lie. Well, guys, if you enjoyed uh, working at Chipotle with me, let me know down below. And if you're not subscribed already, the burrito buddy's gonna get it. Yeah, that's right. He's gonna die. So you better subscribe. Or he's gonna die. It's in your hands. In the meantime, I'll see you all later.